Thanks to the report, Shay. WDSU first warning weather behind me. You can see we're post sunset for the night. But we first have to start in the tropics yet again. We are tracking Hurricane Rafael, which was a major hurricane, made landfall just about two hours ago in Cuba. It's a major Category 3 storm, but there is better news for Louisiana out of this storm at this hour. It was a well-defined eye wall that is crossed over and just making landfall in the capital of Cuba, actually Havana right here. We'll have to see how they fare. Still a Category 2 status storm as it reemerges into the Gulf late tonight, tomorrow morning. It's a westward track out of this storm, and I'll show you exactly why in a bit. But you can find a weakening process. It's a little bit slower in previous forecasts, but look how far south from Louisiana we will be from this system. And we are out of that cone of uncertainty track that is still very, very large. That still shows that there's a lot of uncertainty still overall exactly where it will go. Hurricane warnings still up for Cuba. These are tropical storm warnings for the storm lashing Key West at this time in some of those keys. But we have cooler water temperatures in store for us. 84, 81, just barely supportive to maintain tropical storm in hurricane status. There is humidity here, but drier air that's going to run into. And of course, all that wind shear we've been showing. So all three things working against that storm to only degrade it and only downgrade it and tear it apart over the next few days. Our forecast out of the United States is a little bit different. It is still being consistent to want to take the storm, weaken it, and watch this still bring in some rainfall, but not a whole lot. It's not real heavy over the weekend, more into Sunday, and then it's out of here. But look at the forecast out of Europe. This is the one that is more in tune with where the forecast has been trending more west and maybe even a track that'll take it closer to Mexico before winding down. We might get a surge of another round of tropical humidity in a front to give us rain chances more into next week. But the breakdown on this is the system's being steered by that Bermuda high right now, but the big bubble of high pressure starts to take over and really steer that storm system west. So it does appear by my point of view here that it is going to keep it away from us, but we still could see leftovers from that system from the forecast out of the USA show that might bring some bouts of heavier rain. The timing would be as early as Friday, but Saturday, Sunday would be the one to look out for. And I know we're already looking at LSU on Saturday. There could be some rain, but still Sunday and Sunday late looks a little likelier. We set a record today of 87. Baton Rouge is the latest 90 degree day they've ever had with setting records there too. We're still to the 80s. The dew point's still way up there too. Tomorrow morning, waking up to 70s could be a little bit of fog. Turn it in here to meteorologist Raven Richard and Brady B. Harris. Could run into a few isolated showers tomorrow. It is still pretty warm as well. We're working to the 80s. Could be near those records once again. And the same is to be had by Friday morning, a little fog potential. We might run into another isolated shower or two. And it's still running warm with temperatures to the 80s. But as we bring in more cloud cover to the weekend, this could really bring those temperatures down too. We'll have to watch the likelihood of the rain if we're going to get those leftovers from Raphael.